Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday, November 8th, 2022. The day <laughs> we all finally get a little bit of revenge for the wrongs that were done to us two years ago. <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> I know a lot of you guys said today wouldn't happen. I'm not going to say that I was 100% certain that we'll get through today. Okay, then <laughs> Who knows? It's 4.30 in the morning. I can't tell you what's going to be happening by 8 o'clock tonight. But we made it to this day. And as of right now, there's no martial law, <clears throat> no canceled election, no nothing. Today is the day that the true insurrection will happen. This will be the day that the people of the United States hopefully get to take back their country. Now, am I 100% certain that's going to happen? Nope. Okay. And I'm not talking about who wins any particular election. I'm talking about what happens throughout the day. It's going to be extremely interesting to hear stories of violence, of problems, of God knows what. I mean, give you this one. I don't think I have to tell anybody <laughs> this is kind of like the other big news story across the country. You know, the Powerball last night was nearly $2 billion. Guess what? The drawing hasn't been done yet. It was supposed to be at 11 o'clock last night. It's 4.30 in the morning. They still haven't done it. Why? Or they have security issues. Hmm. You know, what is it? It's states that have to report their sales, et cetera, et cetera, to the Lottery Commission. Guess what? I got screwed up. Could that happen in the elections today? Well, you can count on that. The left has already said that don't expect results for a couple of days, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Hmm. That doesn't pass the sniff test, okay? I mean, ballots are counted by computer. It's not difficult. I mean, how many of us, even my age, maybe even older, can go back and remember taking Scantron tests in school? Why did the teachers love giving those? They didn't have to do anything for grades. They just fed the sheets through the machine, tick, 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 and two minutes later, they had all the grades of all the students. Okay, pretty simple. Technology's come a lot further than it was in the 1970s. So, yeah, this should not be overly difficult for them to count the votes. But then you get into what what is the problems, okay? And I'm not going to talk about all the left-on-right political violence that you've seen lately, but... You know, let's take a look at what happened in Indiana just a couple of days ago. There was a poll worker who was thrown out uh, and apparently up on felony charges now because he was assisting the elderly in casting their ballots, you know, show them how to use the machine or whatever it was. And he'd go up there and push the straight Democrat ticket button for them. It's not necessarily how they wanted to vote. There was, some, and this happened more than once. Okay, but there was somebody who said, "Hey, no, that's not what I want to do," and got somebody else over there to fix it. Who knows how it got tabulated? But this is the kind of thing that you've got going on when you go to vote today. Do not let anybody touch the machine once you're card or whatever your ballot is put into the machine. The only one that should be touching that machine is you, all right? But I want to give you how interesting this is going to get. You guys have heard the stories. There's at least a dozen states now where the National Guard is going to be watching polling places. That in itself is scary, all right, that we have to have a military unit protect the sanctity of our voting. 
Okay. The Department of Justice yesterday announced that it's going to monitor polls in certain cities in 24 different states, including Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, North Carolina, Nevada, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin. What do all those states have in common? Okay. Yeah, they're all battlegrounds. They're all ones where you have tight gubernatorial races, tight senatorial races, whatever it would be. Right. I'm sorry, but the Department of Justice does not elicit a, gee, I'm really confident in what you're doing feeling from me. Okay, I mean, remember, this is Merrick Garland and the, the gang of thieves who have, you know, told parents that they're terrorists because they protested CRT being taught to their kids to school boards, okay? This is the same Department of Justice who goes after Republicans for, let's just put, goes after Trump, for example, on jokes, you know, a raid on Mar-a-Lago, you know, and going through Melania's underwear drawer, but won't go after Hunter Biden, even though there's a boatload of evidence that's out there, all right? So no, the Department of Justice monitoring the elections does not give me that warm, fuzzy feeling inside. But today's the day when January 6th really happens, okay? And I'm not talking about storming the Capitol. Today's the day when more than a few thousand people can take our country back, can say, no, globalism is dead. Socialism is dead. Communism is dead. The liberal progressive ideas are dead. Today's the day we vote for the future of the world, okay? And when people are going to say, it's not that big, yeah, it is, because so goes the United States, so goes everything else. Today is the day when we can tell the World Economic Forum, close the doors, your reign of terror is over. Today's the day when we can tell the Hillary Clintons, the Bernie Sanders, the Alexander uh, Ocasio-Cortez, and the rest of the squad, we can tell Joe Biden and Cacklin Cammy, pound sand, that you're done. Your political careers are over. You may still be sitting in a seat, but your hands are tied behind your back and there's duct tape over your mouth because you aren't going to do anything else. You aren't going to destroy this country. Today's the day. We take it back. Have a good one. Pinball out.